Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. So we are actually gonna use the KitchenAid today because my mom and I are gonna make her famous lasagna recipe. So I'm super excited about that. Here's my mom, Maria, and of course Josie's filming today. So I actually grate all the cheese with this awesome attachment that my mom has yet to use. So we're super excited about it. Okay, so we went ahead and we've already pre-chopped up everything, provolone first, and then we're gonna do mozzarella next, okay? So Josie's gonna film that process. All right, Mom, you can feed it as I... Yeah, that's the provolone here. There's no hiding this from Angie. <laughs> I actually have a hand grater just like this, we but do. but I have yet to use this attachment. It's actually really awesome. We can turn up the speed too. That makes it go faster. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is great. Don't forget. Now with Corona. Oh, yeah, mom has gloves on. I've washed my hands three times. Never <laughs> mom has Mom has her gloves on. <laughs> Let's get in the box for so long. Make it enough for two or three lasagnas. We haven't made up our mind yet. Right. And one's for Good Friday and one's for Easter Sunday. Make this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next is the mozzarella. Hey, all right, we, we look at that. No, 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 no. We still have some in there, ma'am. Oh, yep. Keep it going. But anyways, next is mozzarella. Okay, so we already started the sauce, and what we have here is ground lamb and a five sweet five pounds of that. Five and pounds of that, and then we have a pound of the sweet, um, sweet Italian sausage, and, and then we're gonna add some um, red wine, of course. Um, about well, cup, about a cup or so. A little, a little heavy on the cup. We'll, we'll see. Chop it real fine. Mm-hmm. All right. Before we put the herbs in. Shredding all the mozzarella. And I want to make a point. The reason why we rather shred the um, the cheese freshly at home is because when they um, shred, when, they, when you buy pre-shredded uh, cheese, they actually add more preservatives to keep the cheese from clumping up. They add anti-caking agents. It changes the flavor. And it, so it changes the flavor for shred our cheese um, at home and buying it in, the, in bulk. Okay, so that's why because we don't want to change the flavor and add extra chemicals and preservatives We want it to be as authentic and um, fresh as possible All right, another point I wanted to make about the cheese is we like the different cheeses in the lasagna because there's mozzarella is very soft in texture And okay. then the provolone has a little bit. It's a harder cheese more give to it. Okay a little bit. Everybody loves mozzarella and Definitely mild so there you go about the cheeses. We have more cheese to add to the lasagna, so oh, just dear wait. God. Just wait. We'll let you know about those when they come. Yeah. We're gonna have to get some time here for the sauce. So we're very lucky to have this sunroom, so we can have and we have a little rosemary up here. Taking some of the basil leaves, cutting them up inside the sauce. 
which is great for sauce. So what we're doing now is we're adding the fresh herbs and that's our basil, parsley, and we also have thyme in here. Um, we and also and are gonna- Rosemary. You're putting rosemary too? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay, a little bit of rosemary too. So um, we're doing that, that's coming together and we're getting our pasta water ready. And, the, and, and, the, the and we're doing- The parsley for the mascarpone and- Yes, we're doing mascarpone cheese and ricotta, ricotta. cheese next. <laughs> okay, and so- I'm cutting it off. I'm putting all the garlic in. This is one of my mom's oh. favorite squeezers. Mom, do you know where you got that squeezer? Yeah, at the Restaurant Depot. Restaurant Depot. Oh, so, no. Well, and we, we literally have a whole bulb of garlic. Oh, yeah. Uh, onions? Yes. That's, we have a whole lot of garlic in this one. So, that's garlic lovers. That's why it keeps you from getting sick. Well, that's very true. <laughs> at least that's what we were raised to believe. Right. That's why they hung garlic around people's necks to keep the bad eye off, keep the evil away. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Very nice. Now, just like a third generation there. My grandma, her name was Vava. Vava always taught me during Lent, especially when you make lentil soup, everything, when you chop it up, you do it very fine. Everything's very fine. <laughs> very laboring and everything is cut very fine. Well, there you so go. the herbs and everything. Now, I don't know how that's enough. Okay. Put it all in here. I want to make sure that this onion is super fine. For the, the way that you can prevent from crying while chopping onions is actually having your onions being stored in the refrigerator. It will help for, prevent those juices from swelling up and actually creates that aroma that actually fuses into your eyes. It's a good tidbit about onions is to store them in the fridge so it can help you from crying while chopping them, okay? Third generation right here. My grandmother said everything has to be fine. Extra fine. Chop, 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 chop. You can never be finer. That's what Volvo said. So the finer, the better. And maybe if you don't want to spend time chopping, you can put it in a uh, food processor. That will help make it to that consistency. But it's always nice if you don't have a, you know, if you don't have a food processor, just do it by hand. It takes a little bit longer, but like I said, you don't want big chunks of onion in your lasagna. You want to make sure that it's nice and spread out. And of course, if you don't have fresh onion, you can use garlic powder or onion powder. Not um, with this thing. <laughs> not with this recipe, but no. I'm giving them options, Mom. Yeah. Because if they don't have it, because we are in quarantine, let's not forget that. You're um, so right, daughter. So you can't always run to the grocery store to get ingredients. So in a pinch, just you can always substitute a powder for your um, vegetables. Okay? All right. There you go. Thank you very much, my dear. <laughs> Done to perfection. And when you do it yourself, you can say there's more love in this lasagna. Here it goes into the sauce. Ta da! All right. Yeah, that was a whole clove of garlic and a whole. No, a whole bulb of garlic. Right. Get it up from the edges. It's on the edge. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chop, chop, chop. Before we put in the puree. So, Josie, <laughs> Josie, um, Ended early on this, so we're going to make it work. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Delish. All right. And we needed more. I had to go pick some more. My grandmother loved parsley. She put it in her meatballs. Oh, gosh. It just makes the difference between night and day. 
All right, that's it. A lot of vitamins. Okay, thank you again, Ange. <laughs> You're welcome. You're great. All right, so we went ahead and we made our filling for lasagna, and we did 24 eggs, about a fourth a cup of parsley, and we did six pounds of our ricotta. And I love this brand of ricotta because it only has in the ingredients is um, whole milk, vinegar, and salt. So like I said, we went the purest ingredients, the least preservatives. So the Supremo, Supremo Italiano is my favorite. Um, we get this at Restaurant Depot, but of course not a lot of people have access to Restaurant Depot. So Amazon is another great uh, purveyor to get it off of. Okay. So, and then we whisk that up and we're actually going to add our mascarpone. This is five pounds of mascarpone. Um, and how much do you want to add, Mom? The whole thing. The whole thing? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my word. Told you. Well, we're doing two or three lasagnas, so. All right. Well, oh, that is pretty darn thick, isn't it? I told you. Oh, I'm so glad. I was really worried there for Why a minute. Why were you worried? Because we had so many eggs in here and I didn't, I, it needed to be thicker. Yeah. So can you get that? And don't forget, the reason why we don't add salt is because all these cheeses have so much salt in it naturally yeah. for the preservatives. So therefore, we you don't, don't need, need to add, add salt. Lot of salt. And here it is. Wonderful mascarpone. Mm -hmm. This brand is Bella Gento. This is actually a huge, huge bowl. Yeah, it is five pounds and this is our filling that goes in between the layers of the pasta the mozzarella yes and this the... is part of that filling watch it so it don't go over the edge i know i'm using the whisk attachment for this because it's a bigger whisk yes. than my handheld one because my it, it's smaller whisk yeah and this is bigger in this way it'll yeah this will whip it better i think so it'll yeah, make it thick like it's supposed to be yeah oh yeah yeah well this is more like it mm -hmm. that's what i thought too mm -hmm. you need more cheese and this is not the end of it no lovely next we're adding a whole can of tomato puree all right into the sauce it's a sweet puree. tomato puree sweet and i mean it is sweet yes it's really sweet and this is the only thing i like to use period on any of my sauce it's the best mm -hmm. where is here mommy get it in the pot okay everything is done so fine what is it? Spatula. I get it. Delicious. It's starting to smell really good. Mm -hmm. It's very, very familiar smells here. Tiny. All right, so we add a little bit of water to the can just to get the rest just of that. Just a little maybe inch. Yeah. Waste not, want not, right? Mm -hmm. smell this aroma. Mm -hmm. Sicilian sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right, mom. So now we're cooking the pasta and, you know, salty like to see the water and we're just getting them to semi um, al dente. So we don't want them fully cooked, but just enough like halfway so once they you assemble your lasagnas and you put them in the oven um you, they'll cook all the way through and i forgot to add um about five minutes in um the pasta will cook this is already pre-made pasta but you can also use fresh pasta and i will make a video later on how to um, make fresh so pasta part Hard cook the noodles in salty water like the sea and for about five to six minutes like I said, hard cooked. And then what we're gonna do, we're assembling our lasagnas now. We have our three cheeses, our provolone, mozzarella, 
and our Parmigiano Romano mixture. And, uh, and then, and then over here we have our mascarpone and ricotta cheese egg filling, and parsley, and, and of course parsley. And so we're now we're beginning laying in our pasta with our filling. So the first layer is going to be our sauce. Um, our red sauce, and then we're gonna do a layer of pasta. And then the next layer is a, a sprinkle of the Romano and Parmesan mm -hmm. um, cheese with, and then our layer of our egg and ricotta and mascarpone. And yeah, so we're just gonna assemble all of this and get back with you once everything's assembled. Now we're wrapping them up in foil and we're going to set the oven 350 for probably about an hour. We're going to check on them. And yeah, so we have lamb and sweet Italian sausage, red sauce for this lasagna. And then we have our lobster bisque. So a white lasagna over here. And one is for Good Friday. Yes, for Good Friday. My mom wanted Easter. to make and for Easter. That's for the Greek and Italian men's and men. Men's the and lamb men. for the Greek. Yeah, oh, they're looking really good. Oh man, you can check it with it. Check it with the toothpick. This, no, wait a minute. This come out clean. <laughs> and then and this, this one, one. Oh my God, the uh, the Ooh. lobster one. Oh, look at that cheese. Oh my Jesus. Yummy. Jesus. They've been in for about an hour now. So oh. we're gonna yummy. And Good then Lord. We'll take them out and have them rest. And and we get it. Mm. There's our lasagna. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. We had a lot of fun doing it. We haven't done that together probably I can say at least five years we haven't made a lasagna together, Mom. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun to do that. And I actually wrote it down this time. <laughs> so next, um, we're going to do nice. an Italian, one of my dad's favorite desserts. It's da da and it's, it's a rice Easter. pudding for Easter. Easter. Uh -huh. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Our Easter weekend. Yeah, happy Easter, everyone.